Okay guys, today was just one of those days. Uh, very little feel, no rhythm, uh, no touch to speak of. Just felt really out of sorts all afternoon. And unfortunately that was compounded by the fact that I had a really difficult pairing with Guan Kung Tu, who, if I'm being totally honest, just beat the shit out of me today. Questions? No, that's Guan Kung One. Uh, who lives in one of those fourplexes off number six with her husband Ilsung and their daughter Colby. They're actually social members, but I don't think they play golf. Then, of course, Guang Kung Three works here at the club in the kitchen. It's all very confusing. Well, she just wouldn't make a mistake, which, listen, is a credit to her. It just seemed like the harder I rooted for her to blow up, the more fairways and the more greens she would hit. You know, I actually have a newfound appreciation for the American players on the LPGA now because after today, I think I know exactly how they feel. On seven? Yeah, that was probably the lone bright spot where I think the language barrier actually might have helped me. Uh, Kung Tu finally made a loose swing off the tee there and hit a shot that we both thought might have gone out of bounds. Then she mumbled something to me in Korean through both of her surgical masks and grabbed another ball out of her bag and re-teed. When we got up there, her first ball ended up being in play, so I called a penalty on her for not announcing a provisional. She claimed she did announce it, but you have to understand that all I heard was gibberish, okay? She could have been giving me the time of day for all I knew, so I stand by that ruling. Well, they're two totally different players. You know, Jill Derberry's game is fairly one-dimensional, and it centers around power. Okay, she's a bomb and gouge player. Uh, Kung Tu has a much more complete game, more polish, uh, particularly around the greens. But hey, let's don't crown a champion quite yet. Okay, we got a long way to go this season. Anything else? Okay, thanks, guys.